guys and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would share with you a new in video. It's actually going to be a high end new in video for July and then next week I'll be doing a new in drugstore and there's like lots of exciting things to talk about. But let's get started with today's video. So there has been so many new releases when it comes to lipsticks. I could probably do a whole video on it but I picked some of my favourites. Um, these are the new CRT. I don't know what they're called. Pretty Sticks, S-T-I-X Sticks, um, and they're really cute, they're like these silver bullets, I guess, um, with the colour inside, they're quite sheer, I think they're quite nice for summer, especially the nude colours, or like an orangey colour, the nude ones are incredible, today I'm wearing BFF, there's lots of other really beautiful nudes as well, if you'd like to see a blog post on this then just let me know and I can definitely do that, they're not cheap, because Ciate just isn't cheap, but they are really, really nice. They're really comfortable on the lips, not drying. They don't last a whole load of time, but that's just what you expect when they're more creamy formulas. Next, and pretty different, I would say, these are the Artist Rouge Mattes, and annoyingly, they don't really have names. They're like M202 and M102, but um, they are pretty impressive. Makeup Forever is typically a makeup artist brand. I guess they are kind of consumer as well, but I think originally they were a makeup artist brand. Um, and you can kind of tell, I think, you've got this kind of very like metally um, packaging, very sleek, not overly luxe, just very practical. Um, the bullet, oh, the shape of this bullet is incredible. It's like nothing I've ever seen. It's like really pointy and just so, so beautiful. I love the shape. This is a bright pink shade. This is a nude. This is actually a really beautiful nude. They are all matte as well. And then this is a white. Like I have no idea what I'd do with a white lipstick. I think the idea behind these are that you could mix them though. So I guess if you wanted to wear um, a nude that was a little bit too dark for you, you could just mix it in with the white potentially. I haven't tried it so I'm not really sure. And then this is kind of a berry colour. And then this is like a really dark autumnal shade. This is such a nice colour. I think this would be like stupidly beautiful in the winter. And again, if you wanted to mix that with the white for a more summery shade, then I guess you could do that too. And then the last lipsticks I have to talk about are from Illamasqua. And I'm not sure these are out yet, but then I will leave that linked below. Um, these are liquid lipsticks from Illamasqua, and they are just there are just some beautiful colours. This one's purple and it's called Orchid, so it's like an orchid colour. Um, rose, which I cannot wait to wear. I haven't tried these yet though, so I will report back if I like or love them. And then this is a black. I love Illamasqua for fun, crazy, out there, but great quality products. Oh no, it's not even black, it's like a dark green, it's like a teal. Mm, almost black, but not quite. Super interesting, like nothing in my collection. So I actually wasn't 100% sure if I should put this in my drugstore or in my high-end um, video, but this is from Pure Cosmetics. Um, which I believe is like a mineral brand. I think they've had a rebrand, because I think it used to be called Pure Minerals, and then people started to get scared of the mineral part, myself included, so they changed over just to Pure. This is beautiful. It looks really, really luxe. It says girls just want to have fun inside, and this palette has three really beautiful highlighters. Um, they are all cream, but they're not overly creamy, because I feel like sometimes, if they're too creamy, they just kind of make a mess, and you don't have that issue with these. Again, I haven't tried them, but I basically want to bathe in these. They are so beautiful. It's the Sunkissed Glow Strobe Slash Highlight Palette, and for anyone out there looking to strobe, this, I just feel like, is the most perfect palette. I'm definitely going to be trying this tomorrow morning. It's dreamy. Then some of you might know that um, Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir is my favourite fragrance, or one of my favourite fragrances. Um, I know loads of you have been asking for a fragrance, a fragrance collection video, and I am tempted to do it, but I'm just so bad at describing fragrances that it would literally be me like, this fragrance is nice, and this one is nice, this one's sweet, and this one's fruity, and that's literally all you'd get from me. So I'm just not sure that that would be a very informative video. But, new from Guerlain is Le Petite Robe Noir Intense. This is a little bit different from the original though. It's slightly more fruity, um, a bit more like playful I think. It's got vanilla in it, it's got bergamot in it, Bulgarian Rose and Blueberry too. I do like it, for some reason it reminds me of Christmas. 
but I have no idea why. And to go along with the launch of this, Guerlain has also released a new nail polish in the shade Denim Jacket and it's this blue one. Their packaging is stunning. I love it so much. Like I just want these two on my dressing table together forever. They're adorable um, and I really like blue nails. I think blue nails are really fun without being too crazy. Um, so I definitely can't wait to try this colour. New from Ojon and actually a product that I have been trying is the Damage Reverse Thickening Spray. I haven't tried anything from Ojon in such a long time but I've really been liking this. Um, it's quite a fine mist and my favourite thing is that it's not too sticky. I mean it's a thickening spray, it's still a little bit sticky. Um, I have been a little bit lazy recently and not really dried my hair as quickly as I should have. Um, but other than that it's quite good. Um, I don't think my hair gets too knotty with it if I'm drying my hair on time. Um, and it does add lift and it does add hold. And it's way better than most of the other ones I have been trying recently. And I'm really tempted to stop using it and just take it on holiday with me so I can have nice um, voluminous voluminous for me anyway hair whilst on holiday um i'm gonna keep trying this but it's likely that it'll end up in my favorites because i do really really like it and from pixie and i know there are so many pixie fans out there especially the glow tonic so if you are a fan i'm sure you'll be excited to find out about the glow tonic to go if you follow me on snapchat then you probably saw that i mentioned these but they are basically exfoliating toner pads so the same as the tonic but already pre-soaked pads which I think is great to travel with. I'm going to open this and show you. By the way I'll link my Snapchat down below because I love to do these sort of videos on Snapchat and unboxings and stuff like that so if you do enjoy these videos then definitely check that out. But they look like this and you use them the same as you would the tonic but they're pre-soaked and I haven't tried them yet but I can't see them being any different to the tonic so I'm sure they'll be great. I, I think it's a nice addition to your skincare maybe not essential. I don't know if I saw a huge difference, but they are nice. So from Clarins, I have quite a lot of new items to show you. This is their autumn collection, and I think it's out in August, so just keep an eye out for it. They have their Feed 10 thing that they do every year. It's for charity. It's to provide 10 school meals every time you buy a gift, and I just think that's so lovely. Inside, there's some great minis. I love the Hydra Quench. Um, mask and then you have a hand and nail treatment um, just lots of lovely little bits inside um, so if you are a Clarins fan this is the perfect opportunity to pick this up because you'll also be donated donated to charity then they have a new BB cream and I'm gonna be honest and say that I'm I'm just not overly impressed by the color selection of this they're very pink so I picked up dark and light which seems crazy but number the other ones in between were like just not the right shade for me i actually think fair might currently be the right shade for me and i'm not really that fair so i feel that if you are quite fair don't get this yeah that's kind of the right color for me um i haven't tried them but they are they're supposed to be quite like moisturizing and help you all over appearance of your face kind of make it more even their new palette looks like this really beautiful kind of purpley shades which i really like oh and they can be used wet and dry which is always a plus oh wait there's two new eyeshadow palettes i'll show you the other one as well the second one is called oud and this one's a more of a, like a brownie one but still kind of got the plumness to it which i love and i think it's particularly nice if you have green eyes then they've also released some new, or are releasing, some new shades in their Instant Light Perfectors. This is the orange one, it's number 11. I love these lip glosses, that's no secret at all. Um, I'm not sure if I want it in orange though, but it sounds like a, it seems like a really nice beachy colour, although they're only out in August, so I'm assuming most people have already been on their beach holidays, so... I'm not sure, might give this one a go and it's de definitely worth noting if you are an instant lip perfecter lover like I am. And then same sort of thing but this one's a more peachy shade. Um, I actually think this one will probably be a little bit nicer. Yeah, I think that'll be a really lovely beach colour. Again the issue is they're not out until mid-August. I think, I'm going to leave dates below. And then the thing I was most excited about is their free 
scented hand and nail treatment creams. They don't usually do these in different scents, but they are releasing a limited edition set. They have an orange leaf one, a white tea leaf, and a fig leaf. The fig leaf is incredible and I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's so, so good. I'll leave links to this below as well. And then lastly, and probably from my favorite brand recently, is Too Faced. Um, this is their kind of collab with Nikki Tutorials, which is a huge YouTuber here on, on YouTube, who runs a huge channel here on YouTube. I'm sure most of you know her, but I like the kind of like leopard printy goldness of this packaging. I'm not 100% sure that all the colours are that wearable, if I'm honest. Generally a pretty palette, and I'm going to have a look at her tutorials to see how she uses it. And I wish this was a mirror, but it's not. Other than that, I love that the packaging is so thin and travel friendly. And I think these are blushes and then a bronzer and a highlight, and I really, really like that. I think it's just, just so travel friendly. And generally, Too Faced quality is incredible. And then I actually haven't opened this little pouch. I've been saving it, but let's open it now. Oh no, I just have to pop it open. Oh, this is so cute. I actually thought these were brushes, but they're totally not. Oh, I'm like really, really excited now. I'm definitely taking these on holiday with me. So the first thing inside is the Too Faced sketch marker. You're so Too Faced. Looks like this. I thought that rattled, but I didn't. Um, it's just a standard eyeliner, I think. Oh, the closing is weird. It's got like a spring in the lid. Um, a mini eyeshadow primer, which I'm packing for sure with me. A Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is my favourite mascara ever, if you haven't heard me talk about it enough. Um, and again, probably going to pack this because I love it and it's a mini size. Oh no, it's purple. Okay, I'm not going to pack this. It's a bit of a shame. Um, but if you want to try purple mascara, there's a purple Too Faced Better Than Sex, the best mascara you'll ever use, but it's available in purple if you want to give that a go. And then there's some glitter, which is called Glitterly, which I kind of love, and it's their Glamorous Dust. Very pretty, but I can't really show you because I'm scared to spill it. I've got a festival tomorrow, I might wear this. It's kind of amazing. But that's the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you did, and um, I've got quite a lot of videos coming up, I hope. Hopefully I'll be doing three videos a week for the next couple of weeks, and I am off on holiday really, really soon. So if you want to see that kind of live, then join me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is a little obsessed, and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.